running the back and I bring the wagon okay, round. Right, I'll right, 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 right. Keep it dry, and it's a dumb accelerator that must be taken up by the right? Watch a found her. What is this place? Creepy. Morning. Hi, James. Limbs look broken. Spine too, if the angle's anything to go by. Won't know much more till we get her back to the lab. The water will have compromised a lot of the physical evidence, but uh, it's worth sifting through the gunge. Did you find anything? No, but the rain washed most of the topsoil away, so don't be holding your breath. This is all we've got. Tire tracks. Looks like three vehicles. Where do they go? Don't know, they seem to run out. I reckon that's the only bit of land flat enough to hold the tracks after the rain. That was two days ago. Yeah. Oh, they have a hell of a head start. You bet. <sighs> that stinks. But I reckon it's been disused for ten years as a kid's hangout. Lively dogging scene at night. What's up? Someone walk over your grave. I don't think this is gonna end up very well, Mike. Becky, I'm just like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Don't be, I, I told her dad not to get them these. Boys and their toys, eh? She's dead then. They don't send detectives around with good news, do they? No, I'm just following a lead. Okay. Are you reported her missing on Monday? Yeah, I, I thought she just stayed with friends because of the rain. But then when I got home from work, I still hadn't heard from her. So when did you last see her? I've really got to go back. Oh, come on, babe, it's early. Just another drink. I've got to get to bed. I've got a big day tomorrow. What's up with you? Giving up smiling for Lent? No, I've given up telly tubbies like you for Lent. These guys are losers, Bex. Are you coming? Light enough for you. It's just a bit of fun. Really? Have a good time, Ralph. We were up in the archway. I dropped the kids off with Justin's dad. We went out there. She said it was a waste of time that these nights always ended up the same. She's probably right. So what, she just didn't come home Sunday night? Ah, 
You didn't come home Sunday night. It was my night out. I don't get many of those. I thought she was at work. Then they called and said she hadn't shown. I tried calling her, but it just kept going to message. <sighs> Look, are you going to give me a cause of death? Today? Just look at this. Some sort of indentation. Could be a necklace. Sorry. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, one second. Uh, did Maria have a necklace with her initial on it? Oh, God. Yeah. Mind, she also had a butterfly tattoo on her left ankle. Tattoo? Lower left ankle. Um, listen, I'm sorry. I know this isn't a good time, but I'm going to have to ask you for an address. Where did Maria live? You're sitting on it. She was always apologising for being under my feet, but the kids loved her. I liked having her around. Uh, that's it, that's all there is. It wasn't an accident. Somebody killed her, didn't they? How did she die? We don't know that yet. I shouldn't have let her take the bus on her own. Jesus, and for what? Did she have a job? She had like four jobs. She was saving up. She got a half brother in St. Lucia. She wanted to go and live there and set up her own business. <laughs> Any boyfriends I should talk to? A lot of blokes wanted to get with her, but she could be difficult. She had a mouth on her, you know. I don't like that. Not much to show for a life. Not much of a life. That's her on the right, yeah? Marie leaves the Archway Castle. She gets on the number 392 bus heading south. She should have changed at King's Cross for the N64. I go straight to Perkin. Yeah, but she doesn't get home. She ends up out east at the Becton Chalk Pits. Are we still waiting on the CCTV from inside the 392? That was one of those uh, rhetorical questions, wasn't it, boss? OK. Multiple fractures to all major bones. Some are crushed. Extensive disfigurement. Uh, did she drown? No. No water in her lungs. Now, the marking is consistent with the tractor treads, but those injuries were caused post-mortem. She was dead before she ended up in the water. <laughs> Here, at a right temple, a depressed fracture of the temporal bone, causing the artery to rupture, resulting in a bleed around the brain. Somebody hit her. What with? Some sort of blunt instrument. Metal post, concrete slab, bottle. Take your pick. No, you missed her. That's Gantz Hill. Hmm? Oh. There. So that's 1236. What is she doing getting off there? I don't know. It's late. She's had a couple of drinks. Falls asleep, wakes up in the sticks, freaks out, rushes downstairs. If I woke up in Barking, I'd freak out. Yeah. Play it again for me. Now, fast asleep. Let it run. See? It's just panics. Show that to me again, please. Look, they just nicked her bag. Oh. She's out in the middle of nowhere. She's got no money, no bag. No phone, probably. I'll get back on the bus.
Hallo? Hallo? Dad? Dad? Can you hear me? Yeah. Richard. Yeah, I can hear you. Where the hell are you? Look, Richard, have you talked to your mum about this? It's not about mum. Did you get the letter from the evaluation board? They've agreed to release me into your care. They want an answer. I want an answer. Look, it's, uh, it's not that easy, son. Look, I really need to discuss this with your doctors. Can, can we not talk about this on Saturday? Look, Rich, I, I really have to go. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll call you. What are you thinking, Roisin? Still trying to read the tea leaves? Gotta admit it's strange, Mike. Yeah, three different vehicles, we just don't know when. No, that's the thing, they think they were all here at the same time. They are continuous tracks, crossing and recrossing. Now we think a hatchback, an industrial vehicle. Like that one. So, uh, did you find it then? I only reported it yesterday, and you got a team of detectives working on it in shifts. It, my phone. I'm sorry, you're looking for your phone? Well, yeah, it got chucked away. Yeah, good job and all. Bloody thing was giving me a headache. When did this happen? Uh, listen, love, I'm on a job, yeah. Oi! Don't let me interrupt your social love. I'm, I'm going to wait back in the car. Listen, just shut up. What all right? did you just say to me? Not hit him, it was her. God, uh, 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 hey, hang on a minute, let me phone you. Yes, yeah. Uh, perhaps I've got your undivided attention, right? Roisin, we've traced the call out. It was made by a Ray Harper of Somerville House, Belling Lane, Ilford. Forensics are already over there. Well, Mr. Harper's obviously not short of a bob or two. Wow, looks like the Harpers have had the Cub Scouts round. Those cars are gleaming. You got in a spot of trouble on Sunday night, didn't you? You mean our little retreat from Dunkirk? Brains here decided he was going off-roading in his Astra in a Force 10 gale. You know, for a kid who's just got a place at Oxford to study geography, he ain't got much sense of direction. Beckton chalk pits. Do you know, I haven't been there since I was a kid. Younger than him. He got stuck. I went down there to uh, get him out. Got bogged down myself. It was a bloody fiasco. It was mud everywhere. All over the car, all over the house. Balancing cost a fortune. And it's coming out your pocket money. <laughs> so you got lost, son, did you? And all that rain, that was a hell of a storm. You were down there on your own, weren't you? Someone told me it was a good shortcut home. The A13 was flooded, so... What time is this at? Oh, I don't know, about 11? Uh, possibly a bit later. Go on, a Sunday. A bit late for a school night. Oh, no, he, he wasn't gallivanting. He uh, mentors this kid down on the Blackwall estate. Mentors, uh, you know, they do this community scheme at his school. It's a buddy system, they call it. And he's head boy. Yeah. It looks good on the university application. I, I left Aaron's late. He has trouble with maths. Down a wrist. Well, it's not exactly Hogwarts down on the Bramble. Kids are right off. And you get me the address, sir? Yeah, anything you need. Do you recognise this girl? What's her name? Maria Cole. Do you recognize her, Andy? She's about your age. The one on the right? She doesn't look familiar. Does she say she knows me? Oh, no, she doesn't say very much at all, Andy. She's dead. She's dead? Murdered. 
You know, the rescue vehicle didn't get down there until three o'clock. You must have been on your own down there for a couple of hours. Maybe you did see her, Andy. Have a look. I didn't see her. I heard some cars on the road, and uh, I tried to flag them down, but they were tearing round. I thought they might be joyriders. I was a bit scared myself, to be honest. Proud dad. Well-mannered boy. Very nice setup. Yeah, weird, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Listen, the police have just been round. It's about Maria. They say she's dead. Raymond Herper, one previous November 2001. Curb crawling Birmingham. The girl was 17. Birmingham? Yeah, well, the statement says he was up there on business. He's got some sort of roofing company. Yeah, big projects, schools, offices, that sort of thing. Built it up himself. He's made a bit. A well, nice Mr. Harper, pillar of the community and frequenter of teenage prostitutes. Does the wife know? No, uh, she passed away in March 98. Oh, and think suspicious. Breast cancer. I think even you would have difficulty making that one stick. So what under the circumstances soliciting is an acceptable form of therapy, is that it? A guy bringing up two kids on his own. He must get lonely. Harper's cars are spotless. Nothing linking them to the dead girl. Same story with the clothes and with the shoes. Well, Darren Lewis has a record. Yeah, pretty minor stuff, shoplifting, but he progressed from there. Nothing violent, though. He does confirm Andy Harper's statement that Andy left Darren's flat at around 11.30 p.m. Could he be involved? Could he be one of our hoodies? No, he said he was home all night. And we believe him? As does the tagging company. Maria Cole's switch card. It's just been used at a petrol station in Barking. So, you're Maria Cole, are you? Maria. Yeah. Well, your mum liked the sound of music or something, did she? I've had enough. They think we're stupid. This godforsaken place. Kids bringing up kids. The drugs. It's a wasteland, planet of the bloody apes. And do you remember any of these kids' names? They all look the same to me. And it's worse after dark. They get off the night bus and we're the only ones open. The company insists, but they don't have to work here. The abuse we get. I put in the extra cameras, one of them's not working. I should get around to fixing it, but I don't know why I bother, because you lot never come around to check them. Oh, we're here now. I'd like to see the tapes from Sunday night. Shit, she was here. She wanted money. Her bag had been stolen. Really? Maybe she told me that. They'll say anything. She's taking something. What did you give her? 40 pence for the phone. Maybe she called a friend. Mm -hmm. Not unless her friend's number's 999. So you give her 40p for a phone that doesn't work. It's very generous of you. I don't know. We had a delivery. I wanted her to go. Look, these aren't children. They're mini terrorists. I don't believe anybody anymore. Who is she? She was Maria Cole. I haven't got any money to get home. I told you my bag's been stolen. Caller, I'm afraid all units are responding to high priority cases. Well, what am I then? This is the police, not ABC Care. I've got to get home. I've got no phone, no cash, no. If you want to wait there, we'll try and get a car to you as soon as we can. Well, when's that going to be? Are you going to leave me here all night? What do I have to do to be a priority? Caller, can you hold, please? No, look, please don't. Jesus, she cut her off? Yeah, it was probably accidental. Or she couldn't be arsed. Did the operator call her back? No. She's certainly high priority now. Now, we get any footage of her leaving the petrol station. One of them must have given her a lift. It's still three miles to that bloody job bed. Yeah. Oh, my. That looks like Andy Harper's car. What a coincidence. The number plates are match. Good enough for me. Yeah, there's someone in there. Harper said he was alone. Said he left Darren's flat at 11.30 p.m. Yes, but Andy Harper's a wee liar. Who the hell's that? The Holy Ghost? No, that's Darren Lewis. On any given day, 15,000 people are walking around this country wearing a tag. 
tagging costs 80% less than a prison bed. So, cell without walls. Prison in your own home. Yeah, oh, I know the feeling. <laughs> so, if any of your offenders abscond during their curfew, it will show up on the screen, won't it? An alarm will be raised here, and we call them immediately. I heard the kids slip the tag off in a bath. Oh, stick it on the dog. I can assure you, Detective, this is a highly sophisticated device, virtually tamper-proof. Right. So there's no way our boy could have slipped out Sunday night without your knowledge. Janice Darren Lewis, uh, 1735 stroke two. Why wasn't this reported? No idea where Darren Lewis was on Sunday night, do you? This stuff's like communism. It's great in theory, but... The technology is fine. It's these kids. They know it'll take a while for the tech teams to get to them, so they're constantly interfering with the equipment. Oh, yeah, well, you know, young offenders these days, you just can't trust them, can you? Looking for, uh, Darren Lewis, please. He's in bed. He's always in bed. At least for you lot clamped him, you went out. Sorry, boss. Some kids were trying to play frisbee with the help games. Are you Sandra? Yeah. Okay, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to stay while I talk to your brother. Oh, that's all I need today. Oh, tosser. Boy, Darren! I oh, won't be a minute. I didn't nick it. Andy gave it me. It's his old one. Lovely Andy. <laughs> Mr Walker. Andy. It's nice to see you again. So Andy Harper dropped you off here at 11.30pm, is that correct? No, it's not. I suppose he didn't want to get me into trouble. I called him the fault myself. I didn't want him to think I was messing with it. What, so you just took a spin down the chalk pit? Did I not explain all this when you came to the house? No, no, I just want to clarify some timings for Sunday night. Now, you told us you left Darren Lewis's place alone at 11.30pm. That isn't entirely true. I didn't want to get him into trouble. Oh, what sort of trouble, mate, you've got him into? The boy's tagged. Uh, it wouldn't exactly have looked good for me, either. I just thought it would do him some good getting him out of there. He likes my car. I mean, it's only an Astra, but... I suppose I felt a bit guilty. You know, I've got everything, and he's had this shitty life. You think we hurt that girl, don't you? What girl, Darren? You know. The girl they found. I bet lovely Andy did it. Butter wouldn't melt in his mouth. Shut up! I just stopped to buy a can of Coke and some crisps. Is that when you offered her a lift? You think we met the dead girl at the petrol station? You were both there at the same time. I'm terribly sorry, but I don't remember seeing her there. She was there, at the petrol station. Oh, we didn't see her. He was dropping me home, cut through the pits, got stuck in the mud. Andy gave me money for the bus, but I just ran home, it's less than a mile. Didn't want to be there when his dad got there. Who's that? He met Andy's dad. We got stuck in the pit. Uh, we tried to push the car out, but... Well, Darren started to freak out. Uh, he didn't want to get caught. They'd lock him up again, and he didn't want to go back to that... It's an awful place. Andy, you've lied to us before. 
You said you were alone in the car. Now you can understand why I might find it difficult to believe you now. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not a dishonest person. I just didn't think. Maybe you're just protecting Darren. We can all understand that. It's not my fault the tag weren't working. They sent a van round earlier to fix it, threatened to take me back to court. I can't help it if their stupid box don't work. If that's all you've got to worry about, Darren, you're going to be all right. Thanks. What did you do to her? I showed her my badge. So you're going to take him in, then? No, that's not going to be necessary. I will need the clothes that you wore Sunday night, though. I'll put them in the wash. They were rank. She'd have killed me if I'd have trod mud in here. That chalk stuff got everywhere. Yeah, it's true. I would have killed him. Okay, well, I'm going to need them just the same and just shoes. They're my best ones. Do you have children, Mr. Walker? Uh, uh, yeah, I've got, I've, got a, I've got a daughter who's uh, grown up now. And I have a son about your age. Oh, really? Uh, what school does he go to? Uh, yeah. He, he's, he's not at school. God, I think I can hear your pals out there. Why don't you run along, Andy? Thanks. Thank you. I've just spoken to Andy Harper's girlfriend. Tell me you didn't ask her about her sex life, Satch. I asked her. I couldn't shut her up. She'd been dumped. She wanted to talk about it. I felt like Jeremy Carl. Yeah. He said he didn't fancy me anymore. I wasn't sexy like the other girls. Flat, like a boy. Not that flat, Dave. Yeah, well, it seems our Andy locks a few more curves. Lauren said his dad took him to the Stardust Club for his birthday. He was bragging to all his mates about it. Fully nude, tit-tastic, apparently. What else did Lauren say? Oh, she asked if all men were into that kind of thing. I said that sort of behaviour is uh, anachronistic, sexist nonsense. Where are you going, Satch? Stardust. Well, it's on my way home, isn't it? Your dedication is touching. Well, there's no I in team, is there? Ray Harper? Oh, no, Ray. Is he, uh, regular, is he? I wouldn't say that. Comes in from time to time, you know, entertains his clients. There you go, Sam. Well, he had a little birthday party before Christmas. For his kid. The boy was 18. The kid was 70. Start remembering. They were all a bit tanked up. Well, they wanted the boy to have a big night. Yeah? How big? Everyone was buying the boy dances. It was his birthday. I picked out one of the younger girls for him. Was she here now? Can I speak to her? No, she left after Christmas. Probably retired and what they stuck in her knickers that night. Have you got a phone number and address? Might have one somewhere. I see them come and go all the time. The young ones? I just want to make quick cash. But they're not really cut out for it. The long haul. That takes a particular kind of girl. That wasn't Maria. Sorry. Who? So you're saying Maria Cole danced for Andrew Harper's birthday? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Maria Cole's dead. We have Andrew Harper at the scene of crime. No. <laughs> Isn't the type. Oh, I'll just take your word for it, shall I? How many dancers? Don't know. Uh, two or three? You said they were buying them all night. Well, maybe more, I don't know. Out here. Right, so what else did Ray buy Andy for his birthday? <laughs> what, so they had sex? It was a private dance. I didn't have my eye through the keyhole. Trouble. 
Mr. Harper. Mr. Harper. Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you, sir. Your phone is known. Are you kidding? You just saved me from a fucking coronary. You have a heart attack if you don't use that gut. All right, all right. This is my daughter, Justin. Take her off for a smoothie, will you? I heard you went down my boys' school. I wish you hadn't done that. You know, we had nothing to do with that girl. That girl worked at a club called the Stardust. Do you know it? You know I know it. Do you know the girls there? I know lots of strippers and lots of cops. And you're telling me that you didn't recognize Maria Cole? Yeah, maybe. I didn't recognize her with her clothes on or her hair. Shit, poor kid. Are you trying to ask something? No, sir. I'm here to arrest you. Oh. Well, you think I killed her? No, I think you're lying to me. I think you're hiding something. Why would I do that? Oh, I think you do an awful lot to protect your son. You damn fucking right, I would. I do a lot more than anything you can even think of. But it never happened. She went there, not with my son, and not with me. And you can prove that, can you? I don't think I need to. Oh, yes, you do, sir. Darren, it's Andy. Listen, the police have been round. It's, it's about Maria. That girl wasn't there. And how would you know? Because I was. I saw the whole thing. Look, oh, Justin, shut up, with you? She's always making things up. I heard my dad on the phone. Then he said he had to go. I just thought he was going to meet her. Her? Well, who's her? This isn't the only way to keep fit, is it, Dad? He's got a girlfriend. I hear them speaking on the phone all the time, and of course Andy's met her, but I've never been introduced. I just wanted to meet her. I got in the car for him, and I hid in the back. Why? Are you hid in the car? I just wanted to meet his girlfriend. It isn't the first time. He didn't tell me anything. It's like I don't exist. But he didn't go there. I mean, he, he went to get Andy. I saw the whole thing. They were just sliding around the mud like idiots. I'm sorry, Dad. I don't need a statement from your daughter, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know anything about this. But now you know. You can let us be, right? No, I don't think so. Right. Because an hour ago, we arrested your son on suspicion of the murder of Maria Cole. Turn your phone on, Mr. Harper. Call your boy a lawyer. Andy, what's going on, mate? What's happening? Calm down. They're just going to let us go, all right? It's all bollocks. Oh, come on, Andrew. You took her in the back room, just the two of you. We have a statement from the manager. Look at her. It was dark. I wasn't exactly looking at her face, if you know what I mean. She wasn't called Maria, anyway. She told me her name was Sarah or Sally or something. I don't know. This shit was months ago. Hey, don't get upset, Andy. Sorry, I'm not a police officer. I'm not sure your dad would approve. Oh, he'd approve, all right. Do you remember every drunken group you've had in the last four months? You're flirting with me, Andy. Do you know what I believe? I believe you had sex with Maria at the club. I believe you wanted another go. But you didn't want to pay for it. And there she is, at the petrol station. I bet you couldn't believe your luck. Well, it's a fair trade. She wants a lift. You want to pick up where you left off? You've got a great imagination. You like a drink, don't you, Andy? Were you drinking on Sunday? I was driving. Oh, please. <laughs> Spare me the head boy routine. We've got the till receipt from the petrol station. You bought two cans of Coke, two packets of crisps, and a bottle of Karnoff vodka. I just had a couple of swigs. I don't even like vodka. There you are. You're lying again. You're lying about Darren Oss in your car. You're lying about the drink, and you were lying about Maria Cole. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Maybe she was there at the club. I don't know. But I never saw her on Sunday night. Maria. Yeah, you know her, don't you, son? No. Just look at the picture. I told you, I don't know her. She was at the petrol station, ten yards from you. Uh, how long are you going to keep us here for? I've got things to do. 
Your brother's only 15 years old, Miss Lewis. You have to be here. I'm his half-sister. I'm not his bloody social worker. Take a look, Darren. Look at her. Look at her. That was on her birthday. She was 19. And he likes to impress you, doesn't he? Give you his cast-off computers. Take you out after cuff, you buy you some vodka. There, Andy can get whatever he wants, can't he? We've got Darren Lewis next door. What do you think he's saying, Andy? We know about Andy and Maria. We know Andy's dad paid her to have sex with him on his birthday. She wasn't so keen with her daddy's money, was she? What did she do? Did she laugh in your face? Or you wouldn't have liked that, would you? I don't think that's you, Darren. I don't think you're the type that would lash out. No, I think you're more the type that would help someone who's in trouble, aren't you? You know, personally, I don't buy it. You've got too much to lose, Andy. And I respect the fact that you're trying to protect the kid. Yeah, I know Andy's done a lot for you, but he could be using you. Kids like him always end up all right. His rich daddy's just bought him an expensive lawyer and you end up with legal aid. No disrespect, Mr. Khan. We know what Darren's like. He's got a record. We know that he saw a huge amount of violence in care. You know, this stuff, it comes to the surface. It's tragic, Andy. Don't let him take you down too. <laughs> I'm sorry, why are you laughing? You're so full of shit. I wish we had seen him at the petrol station. And she'd still be alive. I wouldn't go out that way. Father's out there. Says he won't leave without his boy. No, oh, time to make up a bed. You got anything? No. I don't think they planned it, but I think it happened. What? You want me to go to CPS with that? Well, get me an extension. They'll crack. No, Roisin, we've been at them for hours. They're tight. Same line, same words. Read the bloody transcript. It's like they're finishing each other's sentences. Nah, a couple of kids are giving us a bloody run around. I got so much on the mic. Roisin, you don't even have a murder weapon. Give me something I can touch. Give me an extension. No, you have to 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, then the boys walk. Somebody hit her. What with? Some sort of blunt instrument. This is the vodka bottle Andy Harper bought at the garage. We are looking for a murder weapon. If that's in there, I want you to find it. Vodka never really was my drink. So that's a no, then? Look, Richard, it's complicated, OK? So it's not easy. I have to talk to your doctors. Are you sure you wouldn't rather stay with your mum? Like I was before. I've told you what I want to do, Dad. You can say no if you want, just don't dick me around. Rich. My, pl my place isn't big enough. It's not really meant for... Richard, I was never much of a dad to you before, was I? Gosh, Richard, get down with her! I don't need you! Richard, are you okay? I don't need you! You were never there when I did, you're too late now! Sleep me alone! 
You want me to feel sorry for you, do you? No, I just look at other kids your age. Just want you to be happy, son. You just want me to be normal. Tell me, Dad. When they ask you where your son is, what do you say? I bet you don't tell them, do you? I thought you were going to turn that thing off. I just want a straight answer from you. What's it to be? We'll talk about it. We are talking about it. Yes or no? Walker. <sighs> Darren Lewis's prints. Maria Cole's DNA. What are you waiting for? What's happening? Andrew James Harper and Darren Arthur Lewis. You were both charged that on the night of 17th of February at Beckton Chalk Pits, you did murder Maria Cole, contrary to common law. Uh, wait, it's just been a mistake. Where's my dad? You'll be able to see him later. They're going to take you back through to the cell now. Please, just listen to me. It's all a mistake. Oh. He'll be all right. Someone clear that mess up and get him a glass of water. Why don't we tell him, eh? No, no, don't. Don't. Please. Please, pr promise me. It's all right. We're good. You can trust me. You fucking pervert. Years after your mother went, I was working all hours. <laughs> I don't always remember what I was doing. It was for you. <laughs> it's all for you. Do you see better? You do nothing at all. Not planning any surprises for me, are you, Mr. Jones? Two old rambushes, Peter. They play havoc with my knees. I reckon they're not going to put the boys in the stand. Yeah, why risk it? Let old man Jarvis earn his keep. That's just as money can buy. Can you blame him? It's his son. He's only trying to protect him. What about the girl he killed? Who's protecting her? Sit up straight. Don't slouch. Look the jury in the eye, and if the judge addresses you directly, you respond, my lady. And remember, don't talk to him. Don't even look at him. You act thick as thieves, that's exactly what they'll take you for. All parties in the case... Are we clear? Yeah. You're right, Andy. What's the matter? The defence may try to tell you that this is all just coincidence. A coincidence that the boys' tracks crossed with those of Maria Cole on at least three occasions. A coincidence that Maria Cole danced especially for one of the boys at the Stardust Club. A coincidence that they met her at a petrol station on the night of her murder. A coincidence that their tyre tracks were found at the scene of the murder and finally, and fatally, a coincidence 
that matching fingerprints were found on a bottle. The bottle that the crown will show is consistent with the injuries that killed Maria Cole. Their tracks crossed again and again and again and again. And it's all just coincidence? That's what the defense may tell you. But the facts can lead you to only one conclusion, that Andrew Harper and Darren Lewis murdered Maria Cole. So, Dr. Patterson, as chief pathologist in this case, are you saying that this was no accident? I'd consider that most unlikely. The post-mortem revealed a six centimeter linear laceration on the victim's right temple, caused most probably by a firm blow with a blunt object. Could this have been a vodka bottle? It's possible. Could she have been hit by a car? No, no. Um, I'd expect to see other associated injuries. Could she have fallen and banged her head? Well, not, not unless somebody assisted her. She was hit with enough force to cause fragmentation of the temporal bone. Gravity alone didn't do that. Dr. King, what you're saying in essence is that this bottle could have been used to strike the victim long after it was discarded by my client. No, Mr. Keene, that's what you're saying. I'm saying Mr. Lewis's prints and the victim's DNA are on the glass. But is it not also possible that if my client discarded the bottle, someone else could have picked it up and used it to strike the dead girl without leaving their fingerprints? I cannot rule it out. No, you cannot. Thank you. Just to clarify, uh, Dr. King, the, um, the prints that you're referring to here belong only to Darren Lewis, not Andrew Harper. That is correct. But, of course, we only found a small part of the bottle. We were unable to locate yeah, well, the Well, thank you, Dr. King. <clears throat> so, Mr. Barrett, how long did you drive around the Beckton chalk pits with the half-naked body of a young woman wrapped around your wheel? I never knew that I had, you know. They came to my yard in their, their spacesuits picking bits of dead body and stuff, they said, out my tyres. I ain't been out of sleep for weeks. Wild horses couldn't drag me back into that cab again. Yes, Mr. Barrett, I'm aware of your claim for compensation. So, after the other two vehicles had departed, how long would you say you were on your own at the murder scene? Are you trying to say I did it? Merely pointing out that other people had the opportunity. Well, me? With my sciatica? Uh, no, 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 Mr. Barrett. I, no, I would look embarrassed if I was you. Because that boy, the one in the fancy suit, he looked terrified that night. Yeah. Guilty of sin. The worst bit nearly over. We'll get our turn next. Here, maybe, maybe you ought to wear your school uniform tomorrow. How'd it go, Dad? Just get on with your own work. Why do you talk to her like that? Just ignore him. Did Andrew Harper report his car stolen that night? No, sir. He admitted being at the scene? Yes. And he called his father to come to the scene? Yes. Well, surely these actions cannot be considered as consistent uh, with a person who's just murdered someone. Oh, I don't know, sir. I've never murdered anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Order! Oh, I'm sorry, my lady. Your client may wish to remember the very serious position he's in, Mr. Keene. It won't happen again. Miss Cartwright? Milady, I have no further questions. 
Milady, I can confirm I do not intend to call my client, Darren Lewis. Mr. Keane has explained to you, young man, that the jury may draw adverse inference from your decision not to give evidence. In other words, they might think you've got something to hide. No, wait. Do you wish to give evidence? My lady, yeah, right, may I do. spend some time with my client? I, I changed my mind. Sit down. Sit down, Darren. I, I can do that, can't I? Yes, Darren, you can. Why don't we rise now, Mr. Keane? All rise. What are you playing? What are you going to tell them? It's all right, Andy. I know what I'm doing. I need to talk to him. What are you going to tell them? Hey, look, Shaw, I just want to know what Darren's going to say on that stand tomorrow. Yeah. What's your bloody job to find out? OK, get back to me. <sighs> um, son. You know, I never asked you what happened that night. I trust you. But if there's something you want to tell you, old man. But whatever happened, whatever's going to happen, I'm your dad. I still love you. Do you really mean that? Well, of course. You're my son. Nothing can change that. Really? Nothing? Did something happen with that girl? I don't understand. I mean, you fancied her. You gave her a lift. It wasn't like that. Just listen, will you? She came on to you, so you screwed her, and she started acting up, you know, the way they did, wanted money and all that, nothing kicked off. Dad, me and Darren. I'm interested in that little shit. You're the one with the future. They haven't taken that away from us. Not some dippy tar, not some pong life, asbo kid from the Blackwell estate. Dad, <laughs> you know? please listen to me. Andy, just once in your life, you listen to me. Darren Lewis is going inside some time or other, so it might as well be for this. Oh, man. So be it. <laughs> yeah? Harper. No, it's Ray Harper. Andrew's monitor hasn't registered any movement oh. for over an hour. Oh, look. He's upstairs. He's having a kip. Can we talk to him? You want to talk to him? What, now? Yes, please. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> He's upstairs. He's been there all evening. You sure it's not your age? Oh. I'm gonna be late. What is this? You wanna know what I'm gonna say, don't you? Well, you're gonna have to wait, just like everyone else. That's not why we're here. The court is not sitting today. You won't get me to shut up. I'm not hiding anything anymore. I'm gonna end this. Andrew Harper was found dead last night. Did you hear me, Darren? Say it again. I'm sorry, he hanged himself. Do you understand? <laughs> what happens now? That's obvious, isn't it? Darren Lewis is going to pin it all on his maid. Harper's hardly in a position to protest his innocence. Yeah, well, maybe he wasn't innocent. My dad always said it was a coward's way. 
What's the coward's way out, Dave? The boy killed himself last night. What? Shit. In his cell? Andy Harper killed himself. I guess he thought Darren Lewis was going to testify against him today. Oh, poor guy. He was guilty, Mike. They probably both are. I wasn't talking about him. I meant his dad. Well, I'm with Satch's dad on this. I think it's a gutless thing to do. Ah, well, let's not ask you to write the condolence card, Roisin. angry with me. I've heard about your case. Ah, papers love all that stuff. Dead stripper, private school. So some teenager hangs himself and I get a surprise visit from my dad. His dad was a better father than I've ever been. He lived his whole life for that boy. And look how well that turned out. I'm not checking up on you, Richard. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. We never never really talked about it. It was three years ago. I know. And you're feeling bad about it now. It's all about you, isn't it, Dad? I don't want your pity. I don't want your guilt. This is the point at which you ask me what I do want. Why did you even have kids? What people do, son. They get a job, they get married, they have kids. Yeah, I can do my job, I can walk away from my marriage. But you... You'd be happy for me just to stay here, wouldn't you? At least I know you would be safe. So there'd be a whole new trial? Well, we could certainly make an application for a retrial, but given the situation, the jury might interpret Andrew's suicide as the act of a guilty man. So I could tell him he did it. If that's what happened, Darren. So I could tell him Andy knew Maria Cole. She was at the petrol station. She recognised him. I stand here for money. But he offered her a lift. I, I was pissed off. I needed to get home. I was worried about the curfew. What happened then? Andy picked her up. He took her down the pit. He wanted to screw her. But she wanted money. She laughed at him. He tried to screw her, but she wouldn't. So he hit her with a bottle. You liar. Mr. Harper! My Annie was Mr. nothing Harper, to do with what it! What was Andy? Sit down, or I shall have you removed from the court. Don't you see what he's doing? He killed that girl, he's lying. Lying. Of course I'm lying. Mr. Keene, please remind your client. You want to know the truth? Darren. I tried it your way, now shut up. We said we didn't see Maria in a petrol station because we didn't. And he didn't go down the pit to have sex with Maria. He went down the pit to have sex with me. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? What, you really didn't know your son was gay? Haven't you done enough? Mr. Harper, this is your last warning. You haven't a clue about your son. You never did. Get this. 
He hated you. Do you hear me? He hated you. The way you pushed him around. All that Jack the Lab bollocks. Dirty jokes. Titty Club on his 17th. He told me that was the worst night of his life. It was humiliating. Darren, perhaps you I could... told you to shut up! Darren Lewis. You thought he screwed that girl in that room, didn't you? But he didn't. You paid that girl £500 and he didn't even touch her. He told her he couldn't have sex with her because he was in love with someone else. And he couldn't wait to get back to me. We had a good laugh about you. You and your sleazy sex life. Darren Lewis. This trial can continue without you. Let us be very clear. Are you now saying that you and Andrew Harper were in a relationship? Yeah. That's what we were. And you were so scared of people finding out that you were homosexuals that you were willing to stand trial for murder? Find it hard to believe, dear. Ask him. He'd rather have a murdering son than a queer one. Why do you think Andy killed himself? He knew that when I got up here, everyone would find out. About the two of you? That you were gay? Yeah. And this is the truth, Darren. I'm not lying, miss. We took photos of us together. You love me? That's what he told me. And I loved him too. Mr. Keane, we'll take a short break. And I'll see you and Miss Cartwright in my chambers now. All rise. Look, piece of shit. Mr. Harper! You're in contempt! Oh, security! Get off him! Get off him! Get off him. On the count of murder, how do you find the defendant, Darren Lewis? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Hey, what's going back? See you later, Darren. It's your idea. Yeah, I know. What do you want? Leave me alone. I know you are. You don't frighten me. Cheers, Leighton. Where are you going, Dad? Work. Business. But what about me? You'll be okay. What is it, Dad? Hmm? Is it that I remind you of Mum? No. You don't remind me of her. You remind me of me. What do you want me to do with these? Cold storage. Maria Cole. Stripper. Dead in a chalk pit at 19. Well, I guess no more than anyone expected for her. And the boys are in the clear. Jury got it wrong, Mike. Killed by person or persons currently unknown. I'm not expecting a national outcry. 
So that's it? No, not for you. How do cases get solved, Roisin? One stubborn cop goes back again and again. No, Mike, look, give it to another team. You need fresh eyes on this. I can't. You missed something. I missed something? Yeah, you go back. You go back to those files. You go back to the pit. You go back to our friends. You go back to Darren Lewis. Find out. Maybe he will remember something from that night. Help us find who did kill her. But one thing you don't do is feel sorry for yourself. Get out there and solve this crime. <laughs> I'm off to the Blackwell to see Darren Lewis. Walker. Yeah. What? When did this happen? He was placed in your bloody care, in loca parentis, that's what you told me. Your only job was to keep him safe. What? Cut the crap. Did he say anything? Did he tell anyone? Oh shit, yeah, that really puts my mind to rest. No. No, you've done quite enough, thanks. Where's she gone? Uh, Blackwell Estate. Sam, with me. What's going on? Missing persons. Well, who is it? Richard Walker, my son. Richard be now. About 17? Hey, yeah. What are you looking at me like that for? That's who you're looking for. Uh, looks like a nice kid. Yeah, he is a good, yeah. That was a before picture. Before? Yeah, my son's got emotional problems, Sam. Um, but you know that, don't you? Slow down, slow down. Yeah, he's been... He's been in a psychiatric unit since he was 15. Yeah, yeah, I did know. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know what they said? They said it was a danger to himself and to others. But you know something, Sam? My boy's got a pair of balls. Oh, yeah. You gotta give him credit for that. He just walked out of that place. He didn't give a shit about anything. Like father, like son, eh? Oh, come on, Richard. Where are you, son? Satch, what's going on with Mike? His boy's done a runner. He's out with Mama now, looking for him. Okay, look, I'm on the way to the Blackwell now. I won't be long. Hey, 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 hey. Shh. 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 You're okay, darling. You're okay. There you go. There's 
the best girl. That's right. They go. Came to kill me. Tell her. But I was waiting. It's okay, Darren. I'm here now. I'll take care of it. I'll have him arrested. You understand? Mr. Harper, get up. How can I? He was gonna kill me. But I was waiting. Stupid bastard. Where'd you get the gun, Darren? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> Fifty quid round there. She's hungry. Okay, well let's um let's go feed her. Come on. No, stay here. Okay, okay, no one's going anywhere. It's okay. Shut up. Shut up. Get her to shut up. She's always crying. Okay, I'm just gonna go and see. What are you doing? What's in your pocket? No, no, it's okay. It's a phone. It's a phone. It's just a phone. It's okay. It's just a phone. It's a machine. And what's she gonna do now then, eh? Hmm? Yeah, those kids. Yeah, pull over. Guys, I'm looking for a kid. 5'8, uh, about 18 years of age. Richard's his name, Rich. You seen him? There's a photograph. Nah, no, man. Guys, it's my son. Boss, please. Sam's just called. I'm busy, Sam. He can't get hold of Roisin, and the Lewis boy's not answering his phone. I'm sure Roisin can look after herself. We also can't locate Ray Harper. Shit. Get in the car. Get down to Blackburn. What about you? I've got to do this, Sam. I've got to find him. I dreamed about this. About telling you to your face. come and find you in your office and I'll tell you about me and Andy and you'd shout a bit and get really angry but I'd be really calm and eventually we'd reach an understanding and you'd say you didn't like it but you wanted your son to be happy but that was before I met you now I know you never gave a shit about him. Darren you killed my son, you slimy little pervert. Just thinking of you touching him makes me want to puke. Darren, it's over. You're going to have to... Okay, 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 okay. Like an animal. Old and angry and useless. Okay, Darren, it is over. You are done now. Put the gun down. But it's not, though, is it? It never goes away. Like the chalk from the pit, it's under my nose, it's everywhere! Put down the gun, Darren. Go on, Abby. It's Christmas. I don't want it! You will want it! Believe me! Because I'm going to tell you what really happened that night. Okay, Mr. Harper, listen to me, listen to me, give me the gun. We stole her. Maria Cole. Of course we did. She was at the petrol station. Shut up! Okay, listen, listen, look at me, look at me, Ray. Ray, he's just trying to wind you up, Ray. I'm warning you! And he didn't recognise her at first. It was the best night of my life. Have you told your dad how much fun we have with your birthday camera? Oh, look at you, you pervert. It was your idea. Yeah, I well, know. What are you doing? You said you were thirsty. She came up to him. You remember Maria, Mr. Rapper, and his little birthday present.
got some crisps and coke and stuff. Oh, and uh, a little present. Nice one, Andy. Uh, what's she want? That, my friend, is Stardust Finest. Uh, Raymond Harper's idea of the girl of my dreams. Nah, no, what? That's her from the Titty Club. She wanted the lift, but uh, we've got other plans. I talked him into it. Told him it weren't safe out there. Well, you know what I'm talking about, Ray. Kill her own after dark near the Blackwell. Come on, just pick her up. We'll just drop her off. We'll just drop her off at the night bus. Thanks, she saved my life. Stupid bitch. So what you boys been up to tonight? Just hanging out. Go left under the flyover. There's a stop on Romford Road. What are you... Can you put that down, please? My dad gave me that. Oh, your dad. Big Ray Harper. I don't want to mess with Ray. Oh, look. It's lovely. Just put it down, all right? All right. A bit touchy, isn't he? Look, I'm putting it down. You missed the turn off, you've got to go round again now. You're supposed to tell me. It's back there. <clears throat> what are you looking at? Nothing. Fuck. Oh, we were just pissing about. It's all right, I'm not judging you. Whatever. Just shut up, all right, it's nothing. It was just a laugh. Is that why you didn't want to? You know, at the club. I told you to shut up. I'm not complaining. It's the easiest 500 I've ever made. I thought you said you had a girlfriend. I do have a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't care what a person is. Gay, straight, rich, I'm poor. Not, I'm not gay, all right? Fine, sure. <gasps> Could this night get any more mental? <laughs> Shit. Ray Harper's son. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you've got to admit it is pretty funny. Big Butch Ray Harper, and then there's you. Just shut up. <laughs> Does he know? It was where we used to go. It was so well. We were sliding all over the place, and she. Where the fuck are we going, Andy? Andy, stop the car! Stop it! Stop pissing about! Let me out! Andy, slow down. All right, you've made your little point. Just stop the damn car! Look, we've got to take her back. I didn't mean anything. Just let me out. She knows my dad. Stop, just stop the car, Andy. Stop Get it! Up. Get up! Get your hands off me! For Christ's sakes, man, chill. Like... Stay in the car, I saw it. Look, Maria, wait. Look, look, this is silly. Look, where are you going to go? Come on. I'm not getting back in that car, not with that nutter. He wanted to shut her up. Stop her telling you. Because he knew what you'd do. <laughs> you think I'd have heard him? You think I'd have shown him out? That's what you all think, don't you? Hey! 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 It don't matter what we think. It's what Andy thought. That's why it happened. That's why it killed himself. I knew there was something not right about him, even at the club. I should tell everyone, let oh. everyone know about that little creep, serve him right. What's Daddy going to say about that, eh? Golden boys are queer, little psycho. Who do you think no, no, you please, are? Stop it. Stop it. You're telling me to stop it. You should tell your boyfriend to stop it. He's the whack job. Uh, uh, calm down. It... I'm going to tell everyone. I'm going to tell them just that upset. Ray Harper's little boy is a fucking queer. I'm going to tell everyone. Everyone's going to know. Stop it. She'd never have told me. No. No one tells you the truth. Because they're scared of you. Especially your son. You're right. If I'd have known, I'd have thrown him out on the street. He'd have been dead to me. You think he didn't know that? He was my perfect boy. Everything I were he looked right, dressed right, speak right. <laughs> hey. 
Andrew Harper. It'd be perfect. Normal. He did it, didn't he? Because he was scared to find out what he was. Wait till Ray finds out. He's such oh, a... Oh. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are you playing at? No, it's fine. She'll be all right. She'll be all right. What are we going to do? Just, just get in the car. What are we going to do, just Andy? Just, just get in the car. What about Maria? Get in the car. <laughs> We never even know he killed her. Not really. She sort of stumbled off. Jesus, Roisin, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. We're all okay. I'm sorry, Roisin, I should have been there for you. You can't be everywhere, Mike. You are where you're meant to be. Um, did you find him? No, but listen, tell me everything's okay. I want to know. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, ten fingers, ten toes. <laughs> and a skull as thick as breeze block. Oh, for a minute there, I thought. Were you worried, Mike? Hey. It's taken me five years to get used to you. I certainly don't fancy starting that process again with some fresh-faced, spotty DCI. So come on, Richard, any news? No, nothing. I've stopped off at home. I'm going to print out a more recent photograph of him. Go to sleep. Go and get some rest. We can all be out there in the morning, Mike. Yeah, I know. But I wasn't there for him, and I wasn't there for you. Oh, Roisin, I don't know what I'm doing. I feel as if I'm trapped in one of those dreams where... I know where I should be, but I just can't seem to get there. He'll be all right, Mike. Yeah, but if he is, it's not thanks to me. Look, they grow up. They make their own choices, their own decisions. Yeah, that's true. I remember watching him take his first steps. I watched him walk away from me. I've watched him walk away ever since. Thanks, Roshi. Give me a call when you get home. Good night. Hi, Dad. Let's get you inside. 